And it's been a warm, but we, it's been very warm, but we've seen, mm -hmm. seen well, it seems to have some cool downs coming soon. It will eventually. <laughs> eventually, eventually it will. But instead, we're going to be looking at near record or at record warmth on Monday. I don't yeah. think I'm ready for that. I'm even getting tripped up talking about well, these temperatures changing. You know what? We could break a nearly 85 degree record tomorrow. And then we could be talking about 40s next weekend. So, oh, wow. Yeah, a little something for everybody. How about that? Let's walk over to the wall, take a look at Margate here. This is Atlantic City, New Jersey. It is a very muggy and mild night. Does not feel at all like November at all. In fact, most of us are going to be bottoming out warmer than our average high temperatures should be. Let's take a look at the next 12 hours. 66 at 5 a.m., 66 at 8 a.m., and then we'll make our way back to 72. In between that time, we may slip down to around 65. That is your low here in Philadelphia. Believe it or not, we are just about eight and a half minutes to midnight and it is still 70 degrees in Philly. Yeah, how about that? Some of you might even think about turning your air conditioners on if it gets a little muggy and warm. I think you might be okay with a fan. 71 degrees in Reading right now, 70 in Cheswell, Georgetown around 68 degrees. Even the Jersey Shore coming in in the mid to upper 60s. That's where we stand now, and that's where we'll stand as we head into the morning hours. It's this front that needs to finally make its way through for us to get cooler air, but guess what? It doesn't actually do that until we get into the afternoon hours, which means we will be at near or record highs. Again, if we hit 76 tomorrow, that will tie an old record that was set way back in 1938. Now, once we get into tomorrow evening, that's when the cooler air will start to come in just in time for Election Day. It's actually going to be beautiful on Tuesday. Quick look at the tropics. You may say, well, what's going on here? We've got two distinct areas of development. One of them, which may be Nicole, could be moving closer to Florida. And as it does, giving that area the chance for some flooding, coastal erosion, really strong winds, and of course, torrential rain. The problem here for them is going to be that. The problem for us would be the runoff of this. As we get into Friday and Saturday, we could be looking at tropical rain coming in our direction. So kind of keep in mind as you plan the week ahead, things are fine all the way through Thursday, but let's keep our eye on Friday and the weekend because that could give us a chance for some torrential rain. Right now, as we head into the overnight tonight, 65 degrees, mostly cloudy, warm and muggy. We'll be at around 76 on Monday, and again, that would tie that record. Here's your seven-day forecast. As we get into Tuesday, 59, polls open early, close at 8 p.m., no problems there. Wednesday and Thursday look great. Thursday, that's my pick of the week. We get into Friday and Saturday again, tropical rain, not out of the question. And then behind it all, look at that, Sunday, 47 degrees. By this time next weekend, we're back into where we should be and even slightly below. Aziza? Thank you, Andrew.